doing a video on this, on these, because uh, cause I think there's a three pack in there. Because they work so well, we had a flood. And the one I set up, I don't know, two years ago, went off and this thing is loud. It could be heard across the street. And I'll show you how loud and I'll warn you before I set it off. But this thing actually works. And I purchased more just to put them further around my basement home. So it comes. Yep, it's a three pack with a nine volt battery. That nine volt lasted a long time. These are the instructions. I'll have this at the end with all the information. I'll show you one, because I'm only opening one. Like I said, it comes in a three pack. I'm using one for now, I should say. Double-sided tape. This is what you put on the floor when you set it up. This is the sensor itself. When it senses water, this alarm goes off. So you put it like this. And you just put it to the ground just like that. It hits water and it goes off. And a 9 volt battery. This is pretty much everything that comes inside, so you can see. And I tell you, they work really well. Give me a close up look at the alarm. I'll try to find the decibel of the alarm. in case you need the measurement for some reason. I usually stick this to the top of the, well I have one right now connected to the top of the washing machine. I'm sorry, the side uh, top of the washing machine. And it works really well. I warned us of, uh, of a leak and we were able to shut off the water before it got out of hand. I can't find the decibel rating on this. So let's see how long the actual cable is. And let's open it up. And if I remember correctly, you push these two things in. So to open it, I'm, I'm using a screwdriver. It's, uh, it's a little bit hard. So you push down on there. Be careful. I got one. I got both of them. Okay. To push them back. It comes with the screws to screw it down here. I usually don't put those. You do this again. I'm not water expert or alarm expert or any sensor expert. You do it at you do this all at your own risk. Um I usually don't put the screws because when I need to change the batteries, it's a pain in the butt to get them out and you saw how hard it was even to open it. So I don't even bother. I usually put them to the side, but I'll show you the screws that come with them. And they go in here. Just put the uh, battery in. It's a nine volt battery. They come with three of them.
put it back. Comes with a suction cup. I usually don't use this suction cup. I uh, usually use the double-sided tape like this. And uh, we're gonna put it back. Let me take the double-sided tape. Yeah, the only thing is is that when you have to change the battery for the first time you lose the double-sided tape So I actually have you know I had to buy additional double-sided tape uh, When the other battery went off I changed the battery just in case so that I'll make sure that the battery Is good for a longer period of time once it went off The sensor itself works with or without this. What this does is that it keeps it level down to the ground. So it keeps it down to the ground, you know, level so it won't turn sideways and have the water go for, have the water have to make a um, leak even further for it, for it to uh, sense anything. So you don't need this. If you're using this for something else, maybe you're clipping it on somewhere or, uh, you're using it for some other purpose you don't need this so I'm gonna put this on because this is the way I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it on the water and it's gonna set, make a very very loud piercing noise so I'm gonna warn you so let's uh, do a countdown uh, 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lower your volume. Be ready for the noise. Once you pick it up, it goes away. Everything's good. So that's all you have to pretty much do or blow it to get the water off of it. So it's easy to turn off. You just have to pick it up. Um, but make sure you remember where you put it because finding it is the biggest issue. Since I put it in the back of the washer, I have forgotten where I put it. And you you know, you forget. Yeah, it's, it was mounted for two years. I never used it and never went off. Uh, so it was trying to find the leak, trying to turn off the water and the piercing noise. It was uh, hectic um, when you're in a rush trying to save uh, your property. Um, so I, this will be the end of the video. I hope you liked it. It works really well. It's an analog version of a, a water leak. Um, it's loud. You hear it. My wife came down. As it was going off, she thought it was the it had gone off again. I was just telling her I was just doing a video. But it's the analog way and it works. And one of the nice things is that I have water sensors that are connected to my Wi-Fi that tell me things through my app. But imagine the electricity goes out and the electricity goes out here. So the electricity goes out, you got a leak, you don't know it. Uh, this will let you know. Okay. I hope you like the video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye. Some info on item. Instapark water leakage detection loud alarm and sensor low battery alert pack of 301162021. Cost. 
$19.99. Purchased on Amazon's website. 247365. Days automatic water leakage alarm is triggered when leakage or flooding is detected. A low cost, simple, and effective device prevents property damage, monetary loss, health risks caused by water damage. Powerful 130 dB alarm travels up to 100 yards. From end zone to end zone advanced and sophisticated solid state circuitry ensures long term sensitive and reliable operation easy to remove, easy to clean double sided adhesive foam tape pad included and built in suction cup for easy attachment to an appliance 44 inch long wire extends far and beyond. Product description in the US, water damage is the second most frequently filed insurance claim and has accounted for more than $5 billion of claims each year in recent years. Property damage and monetary loss aside, a water damaged property could also pose great health risks to its inhabitants, a truly nightmare scenario for homeowners. Thanks to the Instapark and 07A automatic water leakage alarm, a simple, inexpensive yet effective device, you now have a solution to minimize the risk of water damage and avoid its unpleasant aftermath. Powered by a single 9V alkaline battery, included, the N07A features a main alarm unit with a 130 decibel siren connected together with a water detection sensor by a 44 inches long wire. When properly placed on the floor or any flat surface area to the monitored, the sensor will automatically detect any presence of water and trigger the main unit alarm to go off at 130 decibels to alert the occupant to take immediate actions. Suitable locations to place the sensor include under the sink cabinet in a kitchen or bathroom, near a water heater, a sump pond, a toilet, a washer, a humidifier, an AC unit, or ice-making refrigerator. For added convenience, a bottom plate is included to help secure the sensor in place and lower the sensitivity if so desired. The main alarm is easily mountable as high as 44 inches above the floor, on a flat surface with either its built-in suction cup or included double-sided adhesive foam tape. Specifications Power Source 9VX1 Included Wire Length 44 inches Dimensions 2 3 quarters x 2 1 half x 1 1 quarter inches, main alarm unit, weight, 2.4 ounces, without battery, battery life, 2 years minimum siren sound level, 130 decibels minimum detectable water depth, 1 slash 32 inches. What's in the box? In 07A water alarm, 3 of each bottom plate double side adhesive foam tape pad user instruction warranty registration. Product information technical details manufacturer Instapart part number in 07 and negative 3p item weight 3.84 ounces package dimension 6.4 x 3.7 x 2.7 inches 